<clears throat> so it's the end of June and I'm about to do my quarterly review. So what I do for my personal journal and for my work logs, I summarize, I look over the, the journal entries I have for each month over the last three months and I summarize them. And I just wanted to show how I use Ginkgo to do this because I think it's something that uh, many people can use, whereas a lot of the, the use cases that I have for Ginkgo are very specific. This is something that I can share that is useful to, to pretty much anybody who does creative work. So if you go to New Trees and you can create a timeline, or you can start from scratch, whichever you prefer, um, you'll end up with this, which pretty much shows you like what it is that the final structure will look like once you have the entries. So you can delete any of the older entries if you don't want to go back in history. But what I do is every every day, so this is today, I write down, if it's my work log, I write down what I've done. So I can do some uh, etc. And that's as detailed as I want it to be, and if I necess and if I want to add even more, I can just keep going deeper into the tree and, and just add more details, as you can with any other ginkgo tree. But what's great about this is that at the end of the week, so on Sunday, I would come in and look at all these entries and be able to make a little quick summary for that week. And because it's the end of the, the week, sorry, it's because it's the end of the month of June, I can also I will also go ahead and do a summary by looking at all these weeks, these last few weeks, do a summary for the month of June, and so on, up until as high as I have. So I don't have, what I have so far is in my personal journal, which I'm not gonna show here, um, going to 2015, I think. Um, so it's a simple, a simple layout, but, being able to journal on a day-to-day -day basis is always very helpful, whether you're, you're keeping track of the work you're doing for or your research or, or for personal development or anything like that. Um, but being able to do that on different levels, so on a weekly level on, and uh, monthly, quarterly, yearly, and so on, it gives you a different picture of um, just the arc of your development or your progress or your work. And it's really useful to be able to do that, especially when you're doing um, a very long involved project that takes, uh, let's say, a few months to complete. It's very discouraging when you're at the micro level, you know, uh, fixing, you know, one tiny piece of the puzzle when there's, you know, 200 pieces left to go. But being able to look at a different level and see, okay, this month I did these this big, uh, feature and this big push and and so on uh, really helps you see and kind of internalize what you've what progress you've made when it comes to personal journaling I find that I actually make my insights often at those higher levels where I'm more aware of the overall pattern of my thoughts uh, when I start looking at the summaries than when I'm at the the day-to-day -day level uh, so I just wanted to share that and you can give it a try um, don't wait till January 1st. That's what I often do when it comes to journaling and that kind of stuff. Just start at any time and uh, see if it helps out. I'd like to hear from you if you're already using Ginkgo to do this or if you're starting to do that, what your thoughts are, any questions you have. Um, and that's it. Hope it helps and see you later.